Why commit to one lady if I can't have many? This is the mentality of many men nowadays. However, sometimes they meet someone that make them feel that they want to commit to. They make them feel that they want to secure their exclusiveness. They make them feel that they want to marry that person and they want to have her for only them. They make them feel that if they don't do this, they will lose that person. Today, I'm going to talk about these things that make a man commit to you. First thing first is mindset. Who should ask for commitment? Who should demand a serious relationship? Who should speak it out loud? I hope you guessed it right. The man, of course, should do that. It's the man's job to take initiative. It's the man's job to tell you that they want you part of their life. Flowers don't chase bees. Bees come to them. Your job is to demonstrate how beautiful of a creature, how beautiful of a human being you are when the man comes to you. And here there is a key word, when the man comes to you. This subconsciously communicates to the man that you have a life worth living. And you are not desperate or waiting at the doorstep for anyone to come and fulfill your life. And of course, this should not come from a feminist mindset that goes like, I don't need a man. I'm a strong, independent woman. And all what comes with feminism nowadays. Instead it is to say that your attitude towards relationships comes from abundance. Acknowledgement of your self-worth. Of what you think you deserve to have. The second point is attitude. In today's society, commitment can be a scary prospect to men. Especially when it comes to marriage where the divorce in many Western countries can lead to the loss of children, the loss of assets, and ongoing also obligations after the divorce. And so how does that link to attitude? Your attitude is either attracting men to you or pushing men away from you. And you're either attracting the right people or you're either attracting the wrong people. The wrong people would be attracted to you, but not to your attitude, just your physical appearance. And you don't want to be only attractive physically. You want your attitude to match what a man would want for a wife to have. What do you post on social media? How do you present yourself on public? How is your attitude in the first date? Are you loud? Are you bossy? Are you overly confident? These are things that you need to consider and to study their impact on a man that might have an interest in you. Because you might unintentionally signal to the man through your social media profile or through your attitude with your friends or through your attitude with him that you might be a troublemaker or that he might have struggled dealing with you down the line. But remember, you are a woman, you are a female, and there is nothing wrong with embracing your feminine energy. And it doesn't take so much to do that. You do that by showing your caring and your beautiful and your slightly shy side of you. These are qualities that men find attractive in a woman. Remember in a relationship, generally there could be only one boss. And if you compete to take charge, down the line, you lose respect for your man. Let him be the king. Let him take the lead and be his queen. A queen will you be dressing like a female, acting like a female, speaking and moving like a female. So just like a flower, be soft, elegant, and beautiful. The third thing is values. When it comes to having a man committing to you, and when it comes to having a strong relationship with a man, your values play a crucial role in deciding whether a man will take you seriously or not. So when you meet a man and you want him to commit to you, communicate your values to him. Tell him who your role model is. Tell him what you stand for. Tell him what you advocate. Speak your opinions. Tell him who your role model is. Is it your mom? Is it your aunt? Is it your teacher? Tell him who your best friend is. And what makes this friendship valuable? 
This will reveal a lot about your character. And the character and the personality is what men usually look at when they are thinking about commitment. Because there are two types of men. The men that will commit to you and would want to marry you just after having good sex with you. And there is the man that would think it logically and would analyze you out and he would analyze your, your attitude, he would analyze your, your values because they want to know whether you'd be a good mother to their kids, to their future kids, whether they would want to be part of your life, whether they would want you to be part of their life, whether they would want to have a home together with you. So to these type of men, maybe they would neglect a lot of what we have said today. But the commitment that they would say, it's a kiddish commitment. It's childish commitment that will not last. But when a man comes and he's sober and he's thinking logically about you and analyzing what you're doing, you want to be the right fit. And being the right fit is by having the right values. And I'm not telling you to take values from somewhere, but really understand yourself so that you have something strong to communicate. You're not just going with the flow. You're not being dragged by the winds of society right and left. So think about that and don't be afraid of engaging in deeper conversation with your man. The, the first date, okay, you can have small talk, but the second date already start to engage in deeper conversation. And, if, and in a future video, I'll try to share with you a few tips on how to spark meaningful conversations with your partner. Well, what I'm doing and displaying right now make me proud of myself down the line. Will I be proud to show my kids who I was before they came to life? And of course, is what I do and stand for right now would make a man want to have a committed relationship with me? These are questions I want you to think about because reflecting on your value will help you avoid drag down on the wrong path. And before you know, it will be too late. And last but not least, point number four, lifestyle. Lifestyle is another important factor when it comes to attracting and keeping a man interested. Think about your lifestyle. Is your lifestyle right now a lifestyle that would make a man happy to see you have? Do you go clubbing every weekend? Do you post explicit pictures on your social media? These are things that you might be doing to attract men, but in fact, what they do is they do the opposite. They push men away. They attract the wrong men. And here in the video, we're talking about how to make a man commit to you. So if you're putting out on social media, on Instagram, you're putting out your luxury vacation, uh, your uh, designer clothes, all the lifestyle that you dream of, because this is what usually people put out on social media, they're the dream that they want to have. Unless if it's real, then no worries, it's real. But even if it's real, you want to know who do you want to attract? Because many times, if you have like certain demands, financial demands from a man. You want a man to be making, I don't know, a million dollars a year. You don't have to show financial success on your profile to attract that type of man. What you're doing by putting a lot of designer clothes and luxury vacations on your social media and, and even in public, you're wearing a lot of expensive things is that we, it, it tells us, it tells men that maybe you'd be expensive to have. Maybe it would require a lot of money to sustain you and to maintain you. So what men and what playful guys would do is that they would invest in you just to bang you for one, two time and then go away, leave you. Well, if you want a man, top tier man, higher caliber, who has financial freedom, you don't have to show your success. This is what men do. So a man in their 30s and 40s, they don't look for a successful woman. It's the same like the man who rents a Lamborghini and the man who buys a Lamborghini. And the man who buys a Lamborghini is the man who would be interested in you even if you have zero dollar. Because your success is measured by how beautiful you are, how feminine you are. So think about how financially successful your man should be. And will the lifestyle you're demonstrating right now push him away?
and it is extremely important to note that if higher caliber man, top tier man is what you want, then you would also need to know that these men are desired by many women and they have many options. The same way a young, beautiful 20 years old girl would have options. And that's a wrap for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I extremely believe that this video will help you a lot in making a man commit to you. And most importantly, in attracting the right man into your life. So if you did enjoy this content, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to see you in my next video. Take care.